going live. Uh. Next three miles, no stopping, no parking, no praying, no praying. Next three miles. And here's where we got, this was the first camp barricade right through here. So what we're going to approach is the actual, uh, this is the north camp, so we have police over here waiting. This was the actual north camp guys, console team wire is still around it. There is a huge trench still around it, no access to see. This is what's right here. Console team wire. Look at that eagle. eagle. Look at that, the relatives oh right there. Oh. Wow. Eagle flying right above us. Oh my God. Look at that. A relative flying right above us. Oh. <laughs> oh. The eagle is flying right beside my vehicle. Wow. Strong blessings. Very strong blessings. Please tell me. So this is this is this is the area, guys, the where... it's coming back! Yep, there it is right there. The eagle is following us. The eagle's been following us since the north camp. This is what they've done to the land right here, guys. This is going towards the areas where the first actions first started and we're getting guided by a relative of the Quina which is called Eagle in Paiute. Bija Nanishtahai Quina the Eagle is bleeding blessings. Look at those trenches right there. The trenches that they put down there to prevent anybody from coming this way. There's the drill. Oil police. There's a, there's a reason why I think we talk about oil police. When we see the protection of the resources like this, this is, this is an action that is this console team wire. This is an action that we've seen on Indian land. But look at this console team wire goes all the way around. We're starting from the north camp on the very top where the eagle followed us. And it's still on the side of us right here. The eagle is still on the side of us. We're getting the rating cloak, come to a road called 134. Consultine wires doubled up on that fence. Getting close to the Oshetti Shikoan camp. Dang it, that's where them guys shot out one of the drones right there. Look at all the Constantine. It's still on the ground. It's going all the way around. They spent thousands, tens of thousands of dollars on Constantine wire. And we're coming up now on the 1806 uh, bridge. This is the area, guys, where Kyle Thompson ran off the road right here. The, the, the guys that did that, it protected the camp from Kyle Thompson. Protected the camp. Turtle 
island right there. And it wasn't long before he can tell you that the police will be right behind me. Human rights violations on this bridge. First Amendment violations. Geneva Convention violation on this bridge. burial site is on that hill from the elders that said here there's a burial site on this mountain little hill and here we go this is Osheki Shakoma behind Facebook Hill. So we've seen the full militarization. I think it's pretty heavy when you can see that. Oil police are still there. They followed us out. Not a big deal. These guys are new guys. It's just their job to, to do what they're doing. Give you guys a look, a camp at the, the Cheyenne gathering. Which is right here. Still holding strong. Our relatives over there. Ooh. And relatives. Video number four of five today. Thank you guys for sharing this journey with us. Thank you for sharing these messages that are still continuing to go on on the sacred fires that are now lit throughout the country and throughout the world from the camp you just witnessed. Several camps from Osheti, Shakowan, Rosebud, Sacred Stones, Hayoka, Seventh Generation, and now the Cheyenne Gathering, which is the last stronghold there that's still holding strong as a, a prayer gathering not a camp so uh, 10 more minutes relatives going for the fifth video of the update and next is air to ground sending many blessings your way relatives share this message and the voice of our ancestors remember that we are the ancestors to our ancestors prayers and soon our next generation will be the answers to our prayers oh